Hey there guys, it's Carter Sirach. I'm back with another quick Notion video. And in today's video, I wanna talk about the different collections that I have in Notion. I have been using Notion to track the different plants that I have in the house, the different food recipes that used to be sitting in the cupboard inconveniently, all of my watches because I'm kind of a watch nerd and I have a few friends that are too. So it's kind of nice to be able to show the collection and I also have a collections section for my credit cards to keep track of all of the credit cards that I'm using right now to churn points and whatnot and basically just take full advantage of the rewards that credit cards offer. So these are four ways that I'm using Notion right now. These are pretty new pages. Uh, they're just getting started. And if you guys remember, if you're like old school, old time subscribers, you guys will remember when I created my notes database. If you guys wanna go check out videos on that, I'll have a card up in the corner. It's become a great resource that I can now go and search within, um, but it takes time to build up that, that asset. You know, you've gotta really use Notion in order to get the full potential out of it and be able to come back later and search for something within it. And, and that's what makes it powerful. Let me show you some examples with these collections. So the first one that we actually created, my girlfriend and I, is this uh, Our Plants collection. So if I click into here, you'll see that it's very simple. It's just a picture. And then we also have some properties such as how much sunlight does the plant need? How much water does it need? What's the ideal temperature for the plant? And then if I go into like the jelly bean plant, for instance, you'll see that we even have uh, descriptions for some of these, how it propagates, and then also if it's pet safe or not. Uh, so this is really nice, helps us keep tabs on all the plants so we know when they need to be watered mostly or, you know, which ones need to be in sunlight. And this is just also really cool to look at because you can see your entire collection of plants right here in Notion. Uh, now the other one that we've created that I would say is my favorite. Let's actually move that one towards the end because it is my favorite. Let's go to the watch gallery next. So the watch gallery is just a place to store things. It's kind of a shelf, if you will. It's a place that I can uh, pull up on my phone if I ever want to, if I'm out in public and I wanna show off some of my watch collection to some friends. Now, this isn't a crazy watch collection or anything. Um, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not near where I'd want to be with it. And it's also nice to be able to type something like dress and it will pull up my dress watches so that if I need to see them all in one place and know like, okay, I'm going to go out for an event tonight. I want to dress up. What are all my dress watches or what are my casual? Or I don't know how I've, how I've labeled that uh, beater. <laughs> That's funny. So these are kind of like my beater watches that I that I'm not scared of hurting because they're not super expensive or they're, you know, they're more utilitarian than anything. But yeah, that's the watch collection. Now I want to go to my next collection, which is credit cards. This one looks pretty cool because normally the cards are just sitting in a stack on my deck. Or normally the cards are just sitting in a stack on my desk and I can't really see them that well. But with this and I'm not completely done with it yet, but when I am, I'm gonna be able to come in here and search for different cards that I should use on different occasions. For example, with the American Express, I might wanna use that for entertainment and food because that one's like 4X points on food and entertainment. And then the Amazon card, I would wanna use for any Amazon purchase. The Apple card, I'd wanna use it for any Apple purchases because they give you a nice cash back on those and if i'm using the card for anything else then i might want to go with my southwest rapid rewards card but it'll be nice eventually i'm going to have some filters in here once i add more cards to this stack it'll be a really good way for me to come in and stay organized because i realized that as i was getting past that three or four card limit um meaning like as i as i was starting to collect more cards it got kind of overwhelming to manage them all so another thing that I wanna do is actually start putting balances in here. This is a work in progress, but this is one of the newer ones that I've created in Notion. And then lastly, uh, last but certainly not least, that's why I saved it for the end, is food recipes. Now, the food recipes section is just a great way for my girlfriend and I to utilize the ingredients that we have in the kitchen to create different things that we know how to make. 
you'll notice that there's lots of juices in here we got a juicer and uh, we're just getting into using that so um, that's why the juices are so prevalent in here but this is something that I want to continue to add to sort of like my notes database if you guys are old-time subscribers you know how uh, in-depth the notes database is and uh, just how many notes I've collected in there that are now searchable. So let me just show you a practical example of how to use this. Right now we're looking at the all recipes view, but if I just wanted to view juices, I could come down to my filtered version and just see the things that are tagged with juice. Now I could go even further and let's say I have some strawberries in the fridge and I'm thinking, okay, those strawberries are going to go bad if we don't use them soon here because that's what strawberries do. I could come in here and I could simply search strawberries and I didn't even need to type the full word, but there we go. And you'll see that it shows everything that has strawberries in it. So this is kind of nice. Uh, it's going to be a good way for us to utilize this, especially when we move into our new apartment. Um, but yeah, these are collections and this is one of the new ways that I've been utilizing Notion a ton right now. Uh, and I've actually been using Todoist for a lot of my tasks. I think I'm going to start making some Todoist videos and sharing how I've been using that. Um, but I just wanted to share this and hopefully it stirred up some ideas for you guys in terms of how you can use Notion. And maybe there's some collections out there that you guys can add to your Notion account. If there are, let me know below in the comments. I'd love to hear how you guys are using this sort of uh, angle of Notion because I want to add more collections in here. I know that already this has just made my workflow so much more efficient in the kitchen as well as with watering the plants and knowing which ones need more sunlight and whatnot. And it's going to help a lot with the credit cards once I kind of flesh that out a little bit more. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment below and let me know, and then subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. We'll see you guys in the next one.